The Conductive Learning Centre serves children from birth to age 26 with motor disorders primarily resulting from prematurity, cerebral palsy, spina bifida or traumatic brain injury. Conductive education is an educational based rehabilitation. András Pető established the program that we call today Conductive Education for children and for adults with motor disorders caused by the damage on the central nervous system. He believed the damage can be taught and can be changed by education. Conductive education differs from traditional therapies or treatments. It's delivered in a group setting and within the group setting it's very playful. Children learn to motivate each other to cheer for each other and encourage each other, and they find a camaraderie. Kids they're with really understand what they're going through and how hard they have to work to achieve these skills. The group format of conductive education really facilitates that um, progress, you know, with a peer group. They see their friends working hard and it makes them work harder, and they also can form relationships with each other. When you have <laughs> Your friends here that are able to support you, it's much easier to, to do things, much more fun to do things, so I think it, it's hard work, but it doesn't feel like hard work. It's very intensive. Our children are here from three to six hours a day, depending upon the age, for four weeks at a time. There is no magic. It's hard work for the kids, but also it's a very, very joyful work for the children. Sometimes I don't like to use work because this is their life. We accept everyone else to stand, to walk, to feed themselves, but when someone facing with motor challenges, we have less expectation. This is what it's not true for conductive education. We have the same expectation for every kid. We believe they can learn and they can get to the next physical, emotional level to get to more independent in their own life. It's very holistic. It encompasses every aspect of the child, from communication skills, social skills, learning to feed themselves, clothe themselves, take care of their personal hygiene, as well as fine and gross motor development. And the whole day is planned to integrate these together, so they're working on skills in unison, not in isolation. The National Learning Center has made me a more driven person, because when you're labeled as Disabled, I mean, it isn't really a pleasant thing for anybody to hear, whether it's physical or not. I mean, when you have motivation to do something and improve your life, there's a chance that, hey, you could do this. You, you feel empowered. The fact that Johnny is able to have confidence in himself, um, that has a huge effect on our family, not only because you know, we see him struggle with things every day. I mean, every day, everything he does is a struggle. It's a lot harder to get up out of bed. It's a lot harder to, you know, walk into the family room. It's, it's just, it's a struggle. And so for him to be able to say, no, Mom, I can do it. You know, I've got two other children. And to have, um, have him be able to say that so that they can see it. It's a wonderful thing. Over the summer, um, when I was working, there was a little boy in my classroom, and it was the first time that he had ever stood up just with his canes all by himself from his stool. And he was so excited. He did it 19 times. <laughs> and he was just so proud. He was just glowing, and it was just the whole class was cheering for him, and it was the, the best moment. These kids are not going to be a drain on society at all. They're going to go out and be productive members of society and they're going to wind up giving back. Some of my goals for the future would probably be to become a teacher or personal trainer. You know, it's somewhere that I can um, in, instruct kids I think would be fun. We were so thankful to find out about Conductive Learning Center when we were expecting Whitney. As we started researching and finding out different things, we realized that this location in Grand Rapids is the leader in the United States. Some parents have relocated their families to move here um, just to be closer. It really proves and shows that um, it's worth it. The kids really feed off of each other. And I think that's what Dr. Petto said, watch the children, they'll show you the way.